What's going on guys and girls? We're here playing some more Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to complete all the mission tasks for mission 27 which is called Root Cause. So in this mission there are three mission tasks to complete. It's a super simple and easy uh, mission to complete because there's only three mission tasks and I'm going to be showing you the entire mission and obviously this video isn't very long and we're also going to be S-ranking this, this mission. So as we're being heli lifted in, I'm just going to show you the exact location of the intel agent. He's going to be located right there and that's about where he's going to try and steal a vehicle. So that's what we're going to do. Once we get there we just want to make sure that he doesn't steal the vehicle so that he doesn't get in the car crash. And then we're also just going to chuck him in the back of the jeep and that is going to allow us to extract him from this area. So as I'm just using in this mission, I'm only using D-Dog and the Jeep. Those are the only things that I'm going to be using. I do have my tranquilizer stuff and all that sort of thing, but I'm not going to be using anything like that. I'm just going to be chucking him in the back of the Jeep and then using D-Dog just to show, find, to hit the exact location and to spot all of the enemies. So what you want to do is you just want to head up this road here and once you get to the top of it you'll just be able to turn off into back onto this road right here and then you can just head across and get to the location without being spotted as long as you just try and get, keep a, a safe distance between you and the enemies. So as you can see here the intel agent is on the move he is already trying to make his way to the vehicle as you can see my uh, location was a little bit off when I place the marker but that's this is basically where he is and if you try and drive a bit better than me I'm trying to make sure that I don't be don't get spotted by any of these guys and you just want to make sure you get to him before he jumps in this vehicle otherwise he will get in a car crash and that will stop you from getting one of the mission objectives so what we're going to do is just pick him up and then chuck him in the back of our jeep and that will allow us to travel out of the mission area by land so we're just going to chuck him in here and then we'll jump in the jeep and then I think I check the quickest way out of the area or I've already done it in the other mission so what I'm going to do nope here we go I'm just going to check the quickest way out of the mission area as you can see it's up this way so what we're going to do is we're just going to travel up onto this area so that we don't get spotted by any of the guards that are posted around this little village so we're just going to make sure we stay well out of sight of them and then just hit out of the hot zone. There are going to be a couple of soldiers along here that are going to be attacked by some jackals. So what you want to do is you just want to make sure that you don't get spotted by them. You can actually drive really close to some of these guys and they won't notice that it's not another soldier. It's actually you. And there we go. So now we've got the second mission task and the third mission task. And we obviously got the first one when you first went through the mission. So now all we have to do is wait for the score screen to show up. So you can see that I got S rank. As you can see, I got 188,000 points. You only need 130,000 points to get S rank. So I obviously got it very easily. And if you just go look at it all the scores, you can see exactly how I got it. So that's all I'm going to do for this video. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys have now got all the mission tasks for this mission. And hopefully NS rank as well. And now it's time for me to say see you guys and girls. And hopefully see you in the next video. Video.